Oh, shit. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hey, we're back. Hey, what's up, you lovely people? Welcome back to Royal Goose. Session two of Cocker. We're gonna talk to Mr. Barrel really quick. And I'm gonna stop singing because I suck dick. At I'm singing. gonna sing, go, oh, here's a song. James is playing with his big fat thong. We're gonna go down a river today. And it's gonna be super gay. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to a new session. When you got it, see ya. Me, screw you. Did you know you get a baseball bat instead of a frying pan in the remake? Oh. Yeah, uh, I think I did know that, actually. Wait, yeah. why did you go up to him? We can't use him yet? Oh, I just... If you try to talk to him before you have enough money, you get those, like, two little cutscenes where it's like, do I have enough money now? No, not yet. And I just wanted to show those, just for the hell of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know, pretty pointless, but you know what? I cares about the details. We're back at it. We're back at it. Yeah, it's been a week. How have you been doing lately, dude? I've been great. How about you? Good. Uh, before I talk about me, um, you were just talking about uh, your weight loss goals. You're doing good at that. Oh, yeah, dude. I've been eating less. I got this Fitbit. I lost like 16 or 17 pounds, 16 pounds or something, in about a little over a month and a half, or about a month and a half. <laughs> like three pounds a week or so, good which job, is considered dude. pretty high, I think. I think most places recommend two pounds max, but I read online most people say three pounds is fine, too. Mm, th so, three per week? Week. Okay. Yeah, three pounds a week. Yeah, that's... Yeah. All right, so now our mission for this episode... Actually, you know what? Before we start rolling the poop ball... My goal is to lose enough weight where my skin is real stretchy and I can make lasagna out of it. Ah. Uh, yeah, like get some flappy skin, like... <laughs> like lasso <laughs> above my head, like get some horses. They certainly don't want me to go that way. Um, I think I'll go that way. ha <laughs> ha. Conquer's a nonconformist. Anyways, yes, you want to make turn yourself into lasagna? Yeah, I want to be lasagna, dog. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tasty. So your stretchy penis will match your stretchy body? Yeah, dude. I'll nice. be a last a bitch. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Dude, Incredibles 2 comes out in a few months. That's Does gonna it? Be cool. Yeah, dude. I knew it was coming kind of soon. Isn't it, Isn't the uh, protagonist uh, Mrs. Uh, Incredible? Well, well, no, I mean, Mr. Inc Bob Parr, you know, Mr. Incredible, he's yeah. still going to be, like, the main character. Oh. But in, like, it's going to be about, like, I, I assume you saw the new trailer, right? I did. He's, yeah. like, at home watching the kids and stuff. <laughs> Having right? to watch the baby that and just recently can't. got superpowers <laughs> it's, yeah like I, when i after i saw that jack, i jack? yeah jack, jack. I, I sent that trailer to my dad and i'm like hey dad have you seen this trailer i think you'll be able to relate to it because he had superpowers uh well no that'd be awesome but you know he had to rate he had to wipe my butt once Ooh. you know it's you know it's funny huh. i mean perfect timing because we're in a level full of fecal matter uh the great night Every now and then, my dad says, you know, James, I had to wipe your butt when you were a little baby. I did mm -hmm. that f for a long time. And then someday, when I am super old and can't wipe my own <laughs> butt, you'll do the same for me. And I'm like, uh, yeah, no. How about you get uh, your girlfriend, M to do it? And he's like, no, no, you, you're going to do it, James. It's only <laughs> special if you do it. I'm like, uh, yeah, no, screw that. <laughs> Oh, my dad. That's pretty goofy. My dad is quite goofy. I love my daddy. Yeah. yeah. I love that beetle. <laughs> Do you? We're friends. We go out for drinks. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, yo, I'm gonna fucking oh, kick the shit out of this bastard. They have like a... Oh, does what? he not knock that off? He just knocks you off? Well, he, he can if you position it. Like, if you set it right where he is right there, he'll push oh, okay. it off. Gotcha. Hey, um, so, what did you do last week? Um, well, let's see, uh... Even though we just talked about it off camera, time to share it with the audience. Yeah, baby. Me and my padre went and saw Black Panther. Why are you having this fucking conversation with me again, dude? We just had it off camera. I'm gonna do that to you. I'm gonna take a stick of dynamite, put put it in a piece of shit, and drop it in your mouth when you're sleeping. That sounds delicious. Yeah, it doesn't sound great. Yeah, if if it's red, it must taste like strawberry licorice. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we went and saw Black Panther. It was good. I, I. It's get it's got like a 97 on Rotten Tomatoes. And one of my uh, one of my t uh, former college professors he he updated his Facebook and he said, "Dude, Black Panther was incredible." So I was like, "Huh, will it be as good as Doctor Strange?" And it was good. I didn't love it, but Doctor Strange. Yeah, it was it was with Benedict Cumberbatch. Came out like in 2016. Cumberbuns. Yeah. What? Okay. 
<laughs> Benedict. Wait, oh, I know that movie actually. I never seen it, but yeah, okay, okay. He has like the red cape and stuff. Nope. Yeah, I'm no. colorblind. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I keep forgetting. So uh, I can see red capes. But yeah, the movie itself, it was cool. Like, dude, I yeah. want to, I want to go to Wakanda. I know it doesn't exist, but I want to freaking go there. Wakanda. Wakanda. It's like a fictional city oh, in okay. Africa. Gotcha. That's the city that uh, Black Panther is the king of, and. Yeah, I just want to go king? there. Yeah, he's he's the king of Wakanda. Oh, isn't he like super fucking rich? Um, I guess so. I mean, he's the king, so yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about something briefly. After I saw the movie, I watched a review of it. Um, there's this movie critic show I like to watch called uh, Double Toasted. He uh, <laughs> snappity snap. Uh, he was uh, the guy who hosted. His name's Corey Coleman. He's uh! He's uh, he's black, and he was talking about uh, he he has this really awesome, passionate speech about how happy he is that uh, the movie really positively reflected African culture and African people, and he talked about how far uh, the black community has come in Hollywood ever since you know like the early 1900s, and uh, just listening listening to him speak about it and how happy it made him. Honestly, it. It made me a little teary-eyed, so... It's awesome, dude. Yeah, dude, it's, it was super awesome to hear that. And, yeah, Double Toasted. Go check out their Black Panther review, right? Yeah. Wait, I, I already did a snap. Oh, I thought you were snapping as Here, one, in, Let's like... do it three times. Here's the third. Fourth for good luck? Okay. <laughs> one more time, okay. Okay, That's no, it. one more. Yeah. Six? Okay. Okay. I hope you guys click on it. Yeah. I've never even seen it, but I'm endorsing it. Dude, this is another... Just kidding. I'm not endorsing it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... But I'm endorsing it. Okay, so you went and saw a fucking movie. That's cool. You thought it was good. Yeah, dude, it was good. What did uh, um, but yeah, what about you? Uh, what have you done this past weekend. week? Oh yeah, yeah. I I'm... I didn't get to I had, didn't get that day off, but you did. Mm, it was uh, it was kind of it was kind of lonely. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, dude. I was like, I, I mean, not like not like. Oh, I'm Super... so lonely. <laughs> so you're standing so at the lonely. window looking out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like looking at all these space cars going by, just like oh, I wish. Yeah, cause Jen had to work. Uh, I just kind of fucked off and played computer games all day. Okay. I played WoW. Oh, uh, okay. I like grinded a bunch. Anyhow, do you think we'll ever play WoW on the show at some point? I don't know. We could. Because I was thinking about that recently. Like, I, <laughs> I was saying like, oh, we got we can't play too many more rare games because those are some of my all-time favorite some of our all-time favorite games and Elliot was like no those are some of your all-time favorite games and I was like oh I still love them oh I know you do yeah but I was thinking oh maybe we should Elliot loves WoW so maybe we should I have. do love WoW I love Dark Souls I like Zelda games I like oh yeah dude Minecraft how um, much dedicated WAN do I need for Suova um <laughs> actually hold on I want to pay attention to this for just a second oh okay and I was in the Xbox remake, middle finger. What? A middle finger appears right there. Oh, okay. With the fist. <laughs> That's one of the good changes. There are a few good changes in the remake. Gucci ads? Yeah, um, the, the what? Gucci. It's Gucci Mang. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um. Cool. But yeah, so, <laughs> so you know, maybe, maybe, maybe we should play Minecraft at some point. I mean, I know nothing about it. I'm not a part of it at all but yeah, dude, i know you like play it. all those games i could teach a thing or two i know to be playing them a game or so uh how far we still got a minute oh so oh okay all right well i guess we'll have to save this boss fight for the next video until then let us feed this gigantic pile of fecal matter tasty corn but yeah the last week i've pretty much been grinding out and wow Getting all my achievements going so yeah. I can, like, have some end-game content. There's a lot of grinding and WoW once you hit max level. Eh. Is, does it happen in, like, a, at a rave? Are you, like, a it big orc? It happens in a raid. And do you grind, like, behind a sexy elf chick? Is that all the grinding you do? If you want to do that, you go to an RP world, you go to Elwyn Forest, and you go to Goldshire. Yeah. And then there's a lot of cybering. It's not a happy place. <laughs> it's a place you want to run far away from. What uh, is? That's like a thing. There's a city called El. Uh, there's a place called Elwyn Forest, which uh -huh. is outside of the capital for the humans. Yeah. Uh, and called Stormwind City. And if you go to Goldshire, a city in Elwyn Forest, and the RP worlds, the role playing worlds, there are a lot of people who RP and they cyber. They're like. Hello, my good dwarf. I would love to suck on your stout beard. Mm, could you? 
please me with your fine ales and get my juices flowing. It's not a happy place. Wait, sorry, are you? Is this? I'm like, being dead serious. Yeah, so like is this something that like actual players do? Yeah. Is that like? Is it like sexting? Over like oh yeah they just they World get jiggy with it wow <laughs> that does not surprise me at all does, does uh what's it not does... many players but that's the place to do it if you go I've I've uh, been there because it's you have to go there if you're a human like uh, Ow. you don't have to but that's where you go to quest and uh, yeah on RP worlds it's a nasty place dude I'm gonna go on to Disney's Toontown online game and <laughs> find a place where they what's what's it called again. Sex, what's it called? The sexting what? version of where you... Oh, it's not It's not uh, just for, like, wow, cybering, like cybering. cyber sex. I'm gonna you never go... heard of cybering before? Uh, like I, I, mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I know it exists, but I, I've never heard of Cyber sex. Cyber sex, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I've never done it. Cyber so. me, silly Cerseys! <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go play Disney. Did you ever play Disney's Toontown? No, but I played, uh, the shit out of that Penguin game. Oh, Club uh, Penguin? Club Penguin? Not really. We just had races to see who could get banned the quickest. And... So we'd all make new characters at the same time, my buds and I, at, uh, S's house, and then we, <laughs> we'd just be like, three, two, one, go, and then we'd run around, just, uh, try and get banned. Alright, so, uh... Uh, how many, let's see, I think we gotta end it now. Yep, we're 11 minutes in. Next time on Royal Goobs, we have a beautiful bass voice come in and sing about shoving us up his ass. And this truck fucks off and crashes into this building and then I go and salvage the people. Okay, bye. Then we go to hell.